Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about the official trailer that came out for Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3. If you haven't seen it already, I'll include a link to it in the description down below. A great trailer really giving us insight on what to really expect from this season because I wasn't really sure what everything was going to be about. Obviously, Sabrina's, you know, doing everything she can to, you know, to get Nick out of hell. And obviously, it seems like that's all her time is spent doing so. And obviously, it's that thing of like, what that kind of means in the grand scheme of things, because, like, you know, obviously Lilith took over Hell last season. Uh, she's gone to Queen Bee now, but it's like, the way they talk about it, it seems like everything's out of order. Like, Hell is kind of out of order, so is Heaven, and because of all that, Earth is out of order. So I'm curious, is it just because Lilith isn't doing her job? It's like, oh, she got the crown and everything, but maybe she doesn't really know what she's doing, or because the way she's ruling isn't the right way? Or maybe because she isn't the rightful heir to this throne. It's supposed to be Sabrina, so because she's not the, she's kind of a false queen, that maybe that's kind of throwing things into chaos. Maybe it's a thing that Satan has to be on the throne, plus his queen, whatever that situation may be. He must be there on the throne to kind of keep some balance or something. I, I don't know what to kind of really, you know. But I think that's going to be an interesting aspect with all the worlds kind of being, you know, out of balance. Um, it Because obviously last season we got introduced to angels, so I'm assuming that because heaven's in chaos, we're going to be seeing a lot more of them this season. So I think that's definitely going to be interesting and i like that this element kind of continues to build off the whole like sabrina was already torn between the witch world and the human world but now she's even more divided because now it's a thing of like oh you need to step up and become the queen of hell because it's not just for you it's it's not just about saving nick either this is about protecting everything and everyone you care about whether it be your family and friends of the supernatural world as well as your friends in the human world as well and i think this is going to be the first season i think where we really see those both worlds come together and cooperate because obviously like there was cooperation last season before between the supernatural world and the human realm um so i'm curious to kind of see where sabrina goes with her friends because there's a lot of scenes showing like her having her like because they set that up at the end of season two of like okay so they're gonna have sabrina's back they're gonna be kind of like a supernatural squad you know and i think that's kind of an interesting element to see you know because obviously we're continuing a lot of the stories from last season so i'm curious to kind of see where all that goes but also like because obviously they're like, Sabrina's so focused on saving Nick, it's like you're leaving the coven to kind of face for itself. So, I guess because she, as powerful as Sabrina is, she needs to be there, not just for her, her family, but the covens in general. Because let's not uh, forget Blackwood's kind of in the wind. So that's something that also has to be, you know, uh, dealt with. Because I don't think we saw him at all in the trailer. So I'm, I'm interested to see like, what that ends up becoming. I feel like just from the cuts we got in this trailer, it seems like this season is going to be bigger and wilder because I feel like we're probably going to go to more, uh, at least the, like some of those place the locations we see. I'm assuming that's supposed to be in hell or maybe just in other worlds. I think we're going to definitely do a lot more like world slash realm jumping maybe this season. So I'm interested to see, you know, kind of what that looks like, these environments, what new... Uh, creatures because obviously there's going to be demons that are probably working with Lilith to be like no 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 keep Sabrina off the throne I mean because Sabrina doesn't want the throne all she wants to do is save Nick but to save Nick she might need to take the throne um which obviously Lilith isn't going to like that because she went through tooth and nail she fought like hit crazy to get that throne after all you know so I'm curious to see what that kind of means obviously you know the pretenses are going like we obviously established last season that she's Lilith and Sabrina now knows that you know so I'm curious to see what that relationship is going to be like this season when their paths eventually cross and stuff like that but obviously i feel like there's going to be demons who are against sabrina taking the throne but i think there's probably going to be like a fringe group that's like nah sabrina we back you up all the way because there's probably people who back satan so they're like oh because satan backs sabrina we're gonna back sabrina you know so uh, i think that's gonna be interesting it's probably gonna it, i think it's definitely gonna turn into a civil war in hell essentially so i think that's gonna be really interesting and obviously it's interesting too because while all this whack craziness is going down we do see her like on a cheerleading squad and stuff like that so it seems like obviously we are still going to focus on the human world like i said her attention is kind of split literally three different ways which is obviously interesting considering the fact is that there's kind of three different worlds there's heaven hell and earth you know so i think uh, I guess that's kind of like supposed to be like the symbology of it, her kind of being torn those different directions. I mean, more so not really being torn towards the heaven. Right? It is interesting because like uh, even uh, Zelda makes reference to like the fact is that you went to uh, purgatory last season 
Or was that season one? No, that was season one. Yeah, you went first you went to purgatory, now going to hell. It's like, what's next? Heaven. And it's like, well, we'll see. But like I said, I am very excited to see the season. Obviously, these are just my thoughts about it. In the comments down below, I'd love to get to know yours. But really, that's all I want to talk about to the next time we meet. Be happy, be safe, a little light to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.